Hey guys, it feels like Monday, but it's not. It's Thursday and it's a big day because for about two months, I have been so excited for um, session one of the Bible study series, Unashamed, to be released and today is that day. Um, so if you don't know, if you're not familiar with the Patreon app, Slated for Grace is on it and every Thursday, a 15 minute video is released where I teach about a given topic, scripture. Um, and then every day after that, until the next Thursday, um, you will get a daily devotional that dives deeper into what that video is talking about. Um, so today starts the Unashamed series. It's six weeks of six women in scripture uh, who had deep shame and it was turned into blessing. Uh, we all feel shame. There's not a one of us that doesn't feel shame in some way. Uh, shame is not guilt. Guilt is uh, a, a feeling of, you know, I did this thing wrong. I made this mistake. Uh, shame is a feeling deep inside that says, I am wrong. I am the mistake. There's something fundamentally wrong with me in this area or in general. And, um, you know, there was a moment. <laughs> we see it. We see this glimpse, which I talk about in the video today. We see this glimpse in Genesis 2 of a moment when people didn't live in shame. And that's what it says. It says they had, they felt, they were naked and they felt no shame. They were completely seen. They were completely vulnerable. And it was good. It was very good, actually, it says. And we don't know how long that moment lasted. It could have been a millennia. It could have been 24 hours. We don't know. Um, but it didn't last and here we are. We, we're all living uh, in shame. And I don't know your view of God and like who God is and who God is in the Old Testament, who he is in the New Testament. But I, I promise you, when you dig into Genesis chapter 3, which is the third scripture, the third uh, chapter of all of scripture, you see a God that doesn't want us to live in shame. You see a God that literally uh, takes it upon himself to remove the shame from us. And he still does that. He doesn't want you to live in that. He doesn't want you living your life feeling like there's something wrong with you. Um, or many things wrong with you. He doesn't want you to feel like that. He didn't create you to feel like that. Um, he created you good. So I wanted to read Psalm 31 to you today, just real briefly, just a couple of the verses. It's actually a very long Psalm, so I'm not going to read all of it. I'm going to read the first part of it. But it says this, in you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Refuge. You know, I love that word refuge. That's what my Bible study on Sunday nights is called uh, in person. If you ever want to come refuge means shelter. It means safe place. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Right off the bat, we see shame exists, but the Lord God is the one that can deliver us from it. And it's his righteousness that can do it. His righteousness poured out on us. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue, God. Be my rock of refuge. Be a strong fortress to save me. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. That's the God that we see in Genesis 3. Now, Psalm 31 was written a long time after Genesis 3. But that's the God that we see in Genesis 3, is the God that rescues. The God that uh, leads us and guides us and um, directs us and is our shepherd and takes care of his sheep. He is that God in Genesis 3. And, and that's who he is through the whole Old Testament. 
You know, I, I, I would make a strong defense against anyone that says the God of the Old Testament is a wrathful God. Is there punishment? Is there discipline? Is there justice? Yes. Is there mercy and grace, undeserved favor from the get-go? Yeah, so much. So much more than the punishment. So much more. You know, Jonah knew that. Uh, that prophet Jonah, he wanted God to kill all the Ninevites. And uh, Jonah says, I knew it, God. I knew you weren't going to kill them. I knew you weren't. I knew you were this loving God that was full of compassion and mercy. Dang it. Jonah knew. It's who he is. So, again, I invite you. Um, the Patreon app is an app. It's a free app. Um, and you download it for free. You find Slated for Grace on it. And then you become a free member of, of Slated for Grace on there. And then you click on your app every day. You put it next to your Facebook app or your Instagram app. And you click on it every day. And there's a daily devotional waiting for you. Um, and every Thursday there's a video for the next session of our series. Uh, you can go on there and you can see our past live streams. The past, um, there's two other studies on there that have already happened. You can see all of it. You can read all of it. You can be a part of it. So um, I encourage you to do that today. It is 2024. Uh, we need God's word in us every day. It is our refuge. It is our safe place. It is our shelter. It is the righteousness that gets us through. So, um, and it helps us not live in shame. Because he don't want that for you. I don't want that for you. I don't. I'm your friend. I don't want that. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Um, share Slated for Grace with your friends because it's all free as we pursue nonprofit status. Pray for that too because free for you means I got to figure out donors. <laughs> I got to figure that out. Um, Lord God. Uh, Lord God, you are our refuge. You're our refuge, our shelter, our safe place. Show us that today. May we feel that today. Amen. Love you, friends. Bye.